This is one way to start an episode. Let's go, come get some bitches. Here we are, the Red Mesa Missile Silo. Uh, I thought I was going to break through that. Oh well. Uh, we gotta raid this security booth anyway. Let's see what we got in here. Paper. Nothing. And... Nothing. Alright, whatever. Let me drop a few things off in here. I'm gonna hang on to these antibiotics just in case, because I didn't bring any honey with me today. I did bring vitamins though, so let's take one just as a precaution. And I did bring some better weapons with me today. So, that should help us. And we're waking everyone up already. Let's get up here. Fuck you, bird. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just jump down there and let him have it. Dead. Who else wants it? Get out of here. Oh, too easy. I did bring uh, a coil sniper with me, though. Nice futuristic sniper rifle. And the M4A1. Just in case some shit jumps off, which I am totally expecting it to. That's where the main loot is in that building. We could totally just break in there and grab it and be done, but we're not going to do that. We're going to explore this entire place. There's a purse down there. We can go grab that before we get started. Whoop! Let's not fall down there. There's some trash in the corner. Nothing. Uh, let's just hop down here, I guess. Grab that purse. I thought there was going to be more zombies in this main area. Ooh, some coil shotgun rounds. That's nice. Got a backpack right here. Water. Alright. Drinking it even though I didn't need to. Alright, let's get started. The majority of this POI is underground, of course. So we got to go in through here. Work our way downstairs into the uh, the missile silo, which is all underground. There's uh, trash in there. I should be able to reach that from here, though. Okay, we'll take both of those things. And let's check this backpack. I'm good on the glass jars. Now, there's going to be plenty of this shit around. I will take apart some of it. I'm not going to go crazy, though. Um... Because we, we have a decent amount of electrical parts. It's not like I'm in dire need. Really what I'm here for is hopefully to find a hazmat suit. And because I haven't raided this POI in a long time. So it should be fun. Things are blowing up. That's definitely zombies just approaching the uh, POI since we're surrounded by landmines. A whole bunch of zombies in here and they're up. Let's uh, use Junkie here at the door. Oh! Let him have it with this thing. That's a big boy right there. Come on, now. How many fucking rounds from the coil sniper do you need? Oh, this thing's a beast, huh? I like that. Let's mess around with the sword, though. Junkie's doing a great job keeping them at bay. There we go. Well, so far... Not so bad. Hey, nice. Titanium helmet. Take all that stuff, and I think we're clear in here. Some 9mm. We got a passing gas crate. Scrap these things. Take the repair kits. Here we go. Military truck. Give me some hazmat material. Uh, titanium gloves. I'll take those. We got another one here, so maybe we'll get lucky with this one. Nah, I'll take the steel chest armor. 
sure that sells for a lot. Not that we need more coin, but we are going to go see uh, a bunch of traders tomorrow. And I know where there's a couple of new towns also that we haven't really explored yet. So maybe we'll get real lucky and find uh, some more traders. Because as it is, we've got, what, three of them on the map? If we can find a couple more, increase our chances. Uh, I'm good on that leather bullshit. Nine millimeter rounds, and, uh... Oh, there's something up there. More ammo. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Here's some zombies. Just you? Man. So far, I'm not impressed. That door's locked. We're going through the window. We got some trash and a working stiff tools crate right here. Good on the feathers. Crucible, which doesn't have a sell price. I'm good on that thing. I got more than enough of those back at home. I mean, yes, I probably am going to craft another advanced forge. Maybe even two more. Um, just depends. Oh! And you do need a crucible in the advanced forge, uh, but I got enough to craft the additional ones that I want to make because, you know, moving forward, uh, the biggest resource we're going to need is steel, and that's to keep up with the repair work and the upgrades uh, of the church. I know I said I wasn't going to take a bunch of those things apart, but I say a lot of things. <laughs> Don't listen to what I say. You know who else you shouldn't listen to? People who write, no caption needed, over a photo. It's like, hey, you know what you just wrote? A caption. <laughs> if none was needed, then don't write anything. It's the same as those people who write, I have no words. It's like, hey, you just said four of them, so stop fucking lying to me. Why did I think this POI was more exciting? Maybe we should have just broke in and grabbed the main stash and got the hell out of here. Just walking around in circles and shit. All right, here we go. Here's something. Something's happening over here. I think we got to fall down. Let's do that. Uh, is this the way to go through here? I think so. Sure looks like it. Dead. Whoop. Also dead. That's the benefit of not using a silencer, you know? Just wake them all up. Who gives a shit? Deal with them all at once. That's locked. Take the brass. All right, let's get through that cave now. Is this where the zombies are? No? I feel like I'm going to get ambushed. Let's pop this open. I got sleeping quarters in here. Where are they at? Through here? Yep, there's Kenny. Oh, of course he breaks free. As soon as I take aim. Got some hit fire action in, but man. I was expecting that gun to do a lot more damage. Good on the cloth. Am I supposed to be using coil guns uh, strictly on on demons? Is that what is that what's going on? Um, because uh, they don't seem to be doing that much damage to zombies. Not any much more than regular guns, anyway, as far as I can tell. Is this where the zombies are? Because I'm getting pretty fucking lonely in this POI. Oh, what's up, girl? Doing your laundry got boring? Decided to take a nap on the floor? There's some cash and iron knuckles. She's got to protect herself. 
Oh, up here must be where all the zombies are, right? Right? Watch, me talking all this shit, I'm gonna get overrun. And killed, that would be funny. I'm hoping for it. I mean, not to get killed, but... I feel like I hyped this POI up, and, uh... It's just a fucking dud. This must be where the zombies are. There's one. You know what? I found some grenades. Let's have a little fun. This is a rude awakening. Yes! Let's do it again. Fuck it. Catch, bitch! Oh, that's fun! Hey, dog. How are ya? Yeah, same. Some more cement and a working stiff crate. Let's dig this up. Oh! You son of a bitch! Wait until I pulled my shovel out! That's some dirty fighting right there, and I can respect that. I think it's the same room. Yeah, this is just a kitchen area. Uh, let's put Junkie down right there. He can cover both doors. Watch this shit. Oh, damn it. I wanted it to land in front of the door, and then they were supposed to break the door, and then it was going to blow up in their face. And it was going to be awesome, but that's not how it worked. Uh, treasure map. I'll ditch these shoes. Let's read this thing. Nice. I think we got a zombie at this door. Yep. Here, let's try this now. Put the grenade... ...right... ...there! Pop the door open! Run away! Yes! <laughs> Perfect! Oh, that makes me feel good. I'm a simple guy. I don't need much to be happy. Just... ...death and destruction. Oh, that's nice. This blessed metal mod, that's a good one, dude. This thing fucking gives you double damage to demons and 15% damage to all other zombies. I already have one on the laser blade sword. Now we have another one. I'll throw it on the M4A1 for now. Oh, does that open up too? Oh... Finding secrets. Weapons bag. It's not bad. Bunch of gun parts I'll probably never use. Nice. Dead. Dead. Laser multi-tool. That's nice. I'm gonna scrap the knife. Don't need it. Well, you fucking hazmat zombies drop a bag already? I haven't had one of them drop a bag yet. Let's take this apart. I'm gonna take a bunch of this shit apart. I got nothing else to do. Well, this is pretty much the end here. There are definitely some zombies up here, though. Oh, that's a demolisher. There we go. Okay, fuck that. No reason to stand right in front of him. Let's get Junkie down. Where's this demolisher at? That's what I want to know. There he is. Okay. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, yes. Gotta love it. Oh, you motherfuckers ain't shit. Look at this. Too good. Dead. And that was it. That was the finale. There are still zombies, but they gotta be outside. Trying to get into this building, which they're not gonna make it in here. Not by the time I'm done. Ooh, nice. Alright. Uh, is there anything down here? Yep. Ammo pile. And I think that is it. Let's go ahead and grab the main stash. Kill whatever zombies are trying to break in here. And uh, I'm going to go get that treasure. 
Here's the stash. And this just wraps around. So, nothing to worry about. We get out of here through uh, a hatch up this ladder. Damn. That's a lot of shit. What's that? Uh, Armor Shredder mod. That's a good one. I mean, good loot. I can't really complain. Just no hazmat material. The shit we're looking for. I feel like we're never gonna get in a fucking wasteland. I mean, how m that's the thing. That's the problem with this game. Uh, not only the uh, the mod, just I feel like the game in general is um, there's always, uh, and this is just like something personal. Um, I feel like there's always something that I need that I can't find, and every time I play, it's something different, and that gets annoying, especially when you're trying to create a series that doesn't drag on for too long, you know. Because at this point, I feel like if I had the hazmat material, I'm prepared to go into the wasteland and I'm ready. So how many episodes are we going to do where we're just out here fucking looking for this shit, you know? I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Like I said, let's get through the next horde. Tomorrow we're going to go see all the traders and then we'll do, you know, we'll have another day of exploration and looting. And then we'll have the horde night. And if I don't have everything I need... By the time we're done fighting the Day 28 Horde, I don't know, I might have to just skip ahead, you know, and and and, and search for the shit off camera, because I don't want to just keep making episodes and episodes of us just looking for the stuff. Give me something good. Oh, that's a bunch of things. It's not bad. Not what I was looking for, though. All right, let's go dig up a treasure. This is interesting. Southwest corner is here, too. Treasure might be underneath the vet. Did we loot this place? I think we did. I would have grabbed the main stash while we were here, but I'm pretty sure we got that already. Oh. Here, you take four pieces of duct tape, and I'll take the silver. And then you take this lead, and I'll take the diamonds. That's a fair trade. Oh, I'm a natural at bartering. Well, this bear's gonna be a problem. Let's see how the coil sniper does against it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, all right. It was almost dead. I couldn't really see the health bar from the scope view. All right. Man, we're going to have so much money, it's going to be ridiculous. I'm hoping for the hazmat suit, though. You know, I thought you got more rare loot in treasures. I mean, I guess you do. It's just... Roll the dice, right? Well, let's try rolling a couple more times. This place just screams hazmat gear. And there's an army truck? Definitely. We're definitely gonna find some here. Damn it! Another blessed metal mod. Can't be mad at that. Ah, eh, one more for good luck. What the hell? Ah. 
Uh, some exploding arrows and bolts, those are always fun during the horde. Bunch of silver and gold and more coin. I mean, we're gonna have so much fucking money to spend tomorrow. We gotta find more traders. Alright, I gotta go grab some concrete mix so we can finish upgrading this shit, because some of these blocks needed to be repaired. Ooh, more zombies? Oh, you know what? You know what we should do? Oh, I got a stupid idea. Let's go use the auger down in the mine and see if we can attract a screamer or two. Then we can get a whole bunch of zombies to come in here, we can kill them all, and hopefully get some loot bags. That's how desperate I am right now. Uh, tools. Bam. Oh, damn it. I think I left my door open. That's what happened. Oh, definitely. No screamers, though. That's a shame. Well, we got a good amount of loot today, that's for sure. I'll get it all sorted tonight, go through what we have to sell, and then uh, it's Trader Day tomorrow. We're going to go see Hugh, of course, and then we're going to head down here, uh, maybe grab that treasure along the way. We got a trader right there, another one right here. Oh, maybe we'll grab this treasure then. And uh, I'm thinking there's probably a trader in uh, this town or maybe this town here. So if we can find another one, that'd be great. Then we got a trader right here. And then maybe on our way back up, uh, this town might have a trader that we can find. And uh, seems kind of like a boring day, but we got to do it. Hopefully... Uh, one or more of the traders have some hazmat material we can buy. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Father Glock, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.